And at the end, go ahead, honey. I was just gonna say at the end, um, I'll let you finish and then you'll stop recording. And then can we just, I just yeah. wanna know like when, it, when it's going live, I forgot to ask you that. So I'll do that after. <laughs> no, it's totally okay, no worries. Okay. Okay, hold on just a second. All right. It usually starts going live before it even says it's going live. So probably we're already live. <laughs> That's what usually happens is that I start <laughs> talking. It's gonna kick in, hold on just a second. And there we go. It, like I said, it went live before I thought it did. Okay, hello everyone, welcome. My name is Misty Petrella. I am the transformational business coach for heart-centered and spiritual entrepreneurs looking to get to that consistent income. And today is yet another impact and income interview with me and an amazing expert I actually met in another group. Her name is Elizabeth Ruth, say hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth is the CEO of ER Marketing Services, which is a marketing service agency that deals in content and messaging, right? Yes. So how did you get into this? Let's talk about it. How is this? How did this become the thing that is your passion in the world? I was, so uh, when my children were young, they are now 13 and 15, but when they were young, I decided to quit my corporate job, stay home. I ran a home daycare and, you know, just aligned with my values. I stayed with them. That's what I did. And throughout the time, I've always had a passion for writing. I have a BA honors in English and I love to create. So I actually started a handmade business where I knit and crochet character hats. And then I thought, Ooh, wouldn't it be fun to tell stories? So now I'm a children's book author where each character has a book or will have a book to tell their story. That's cool. So fast forward, the kids were outgrowing and I was outgrowing the daycare and I thought, okay, what can I do? I don't really want to go to a corporate job, but I'd like to use my love of marketing because you have to market books. I want to use my love of writing. I want to help people. Those are my three priorities. And that's how I decided I'm going to do marketing. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. So how, what, what do you think is a couple of the most important things people should know about marketing from your perspective? Um, in terms of marketing a business, there are always trends. And if you can get in on them early, that does shoot you to the top. It gives you a little bit of inflation. So you can ride that wave. TikTok short video right now, whether it's TikTok reels, um, YouTube shorts, LinkedIn even has stories. Many of the platforms have stories currently hot short videos. And what that means is 30 seconds, maximum three minutes, but I find the sweet spot is one minute. So if you can ride that wave right now, your business will really get a lot of exposure. Mm, that's really cool to know. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing. Yeah. I'm a content writer, but I'm promoting video, but that's where it's at. No, I mean, video is where it's at right now. That's for sure. Where it's at. But I mean, we are actually here to talk about the written word today. Yes. Because no matter what happens with video or not, blogs are always a solid way to get what you believe out into the world. And you guys know how I talk about a message that matters. So we, we don't even go into that. But getting your message out there into the world is a powerful way to do that is through a blog. A lot of people don't want to sit through a video. They just want the information they want and they want to go and get it and they just want to go use it. All right. So I brought Elizabeth in because she is an expert in setting up blogs and writing blog posts that get attraction and seen and all that good stuff. So if someone is like setting up a blog in the first place, let's just say they're just even getting it started, what should they be thinking about? Uh, so why would you even want a blog? Let's unpack the technical reason and then the person to person reason. So the technical reason is when we create a website, 
there are spiders. We're going to use Google, but any browser has spiders. And what that means is they crawl your website. It's tech, you know, code that crawls your website and it's organizing it. So it's figuring out what is your business about? So my business is about marketing and content writing. Um, and what their whole priority of a search engine is when someone types in a search, you know, how to write a blog post, for me, I want to get found at the top. And if I'm using keywords and I am relevant for free, I don't have to pay for it organically. I will float to the top. Now, what happens over time, if we don't change our website, because it's a pretty big undertaking and phew, you know, it's done, check it off the list, never look at it again, is how some of us think about it. Um, well, those spiders have indexed it and you're at the top for a little while, but you'll start to fall down the rankings after some time if there's no new content. Right. After a year, two years, Google or the search engines are saying, is this business even still open? We're not sure. So we're not going to present that as a potential answer. So this is where blogging comes in. Even if you only commit to it once a month, you are getting new content onto your website. You are getting those spiders to recrawl. And the beauty of a blog post is that you can focus it on one specific component of your service or product offering. So let's say you are a, uh, I actually just worked on a client's project and she is a psychic healer as well as a psychologist. That's awesome. So what she does is she unpacks different theories. So she just wrote about grounding and your chakras and how that is really an important part. Create your foundation before you work on your spirituality. So those were a lot of keywords that I just said as I explained it. So as people are searching for chakra information or um, you know, grounding or, you know, energy centered, she's going to come up in the search for any of those terms because we've used them throughout that blog post. And another important thing about blogging is when people find you, they are not always coming through the home page. So right. your blog posts are many different opportunities to get found in different ways that people are searching for you. Love that. It's important, guys. And even if you're not a writer, per se, you can still mm -hmm. have a blog, can't you? Absolutely. You have to have passion, knowledge. <laughs> Those are important. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I mean is like, even if you just want to do video and transcribe yeah. the video, right, that can mm -hmm. become your blog without you having to for sure. And that's actually what this client did. She has a podcast. She said, here's my episode, make it into something, you know, bite size. And then what we also do as a technique, she happens to do audio podcasts. So we embed the audio, you know, get the full experience by listening to this audio. These are just the sound bites from it. Or if you have video embed that as well, because here's another technical reason to do a blog post. The longer you keep someone on your website, the higher in your rankings you will go. Cause remember Google or the browser wants to give the user the best experience if they are staying longer, it's called a bounce rate, but the longer people stay on your website, the more you are telling Google and its algorithm that, hey, we are giving people what they came for. They're loving it when they come. So then they're going to show your content more. Guys, getting seen is doesn't have to take you all day, but it is important to like understand how these things work at least just a little bit so that you can work the tool instead of working against you and my site's actually being redone right now because it's so old so it's being redone at this very moment so i'm very excited about that <laughs> because it needs <laughs> lots of help and keeping your site like relevant and fresh is super important guys and it doesn't mean you have to change everything, but adding content yeah. on a regular basis is super helpful. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what are tips, some tips that you can give our group for, you know, keeping that blog going over a period of time so it doesn't feel so overwhelming? Okay, so one of the main concerns I have when people come to me is, well, what do I even write about? Because we're a victim of our own genius, right? Of like, well, doesn't everybody know how to crochet a hat or write a children's book or write a <laughs> blog? Like we just assume everyone knows how to do it. Well, I wouldn't have a business if everybody knew how to write a blog. Right. So, um, so the first thing is source where you can answer questions that people are asking about what you know about. So answer the public is a fabulous resource. Oh, okay. You type in a keyword and it will give you all the questions that people are searching for. Another great way to harvest content ideas is go into Pinterest or Google or YouTube type slowly. And you'll understand in a moment why I'm saying slowly in the search bar, as though you are a client looking for the type of service or product that you are offering. So in this example, since we talked about chakras, maybe our question is what is a chakra? And as you are typing, you will notice that Google, like all those that I just mentioned will autofill different things that people have asked in the same way. So then maybe you're saying, what is a chakra? But other people are asking, what is the root chakra? What is the sacrum chakra? I'm not an expert. I apologize if I'm using the wrong term, but you know, my rudimentary <laughs> understanding is there are the six or right. seven different types and, or do they have colors or, you know, that could be four different either points, sections on your article, if you're just talking about chakras as a whole, or you can really dive deep and say, oh, that's seven blog posts. Each blog post is a different chakra. To reiterate this point, because it is so important, it is, guys, sometimes we go so fast with our content. It's okay to do that, meaning I'm going to share all seven chakras with you in one blog post because I'm doing an overview of it. But in so many cases, what I see people do is put so much into one thing that it's hard for people to even ingest all of it. So what she's saying is by, by breaking that down, those seven chakras into seven pieces of separate content, you're slowing the content down so people can stick with us. We always think people know what we're talking about, who we are and why our stuff matters. And I don't know about you, Elizabeth, but people generally are so in their own and not selfishly, they're just dealing with their own lives and, and dealing with their own problems and the things they have to deal with and their family and their friends and all this, their own lives that if our content goes too fast, they can't stick with us. They they get, they, our stuff seems not important. And we have to constantly be reminding people why this is so important into their lives, who we are, what we do, what. And so um, I really like this idea of like taking that content and slowing it down. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Keeps now I'm with us. Right. Yes. Sometimes we're a victim to our, our expertise in the other way too, which is like, we assume well, I guess you were saying we assume everybody knows what we know, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. they totally don't. They don't. In most of the cases, they don't know what our tools are that we share with people or even why they should be important in their lives. So I think a lot of times, um, you know, like, I, you know, I, coaching, this happens to coaches a lot, like that pe they assume that people know how, what coaches are, how they help and what this work is all about. And so, yeah. I really like this, like slowing it down and reminding people a lot of like what, how your work serves in the world. Mm -hmm. And That's I was going to say, I want you to think about also as a user, when you found a blog and the next thing you know, you have 10 different articles open because they have given you links to other articles that they've written that are relevant to it. So it's like a Netflix binge for readers. Totally. Remember that bounce rate? We want to keep people on our site when they have 10 tabs open. 
of other sites uh, of other posts that relate to it. So if you're doing a series of the, all the chakras and you're interlinking to, Hey, if you like this one, you're going to love what, when we unpack this one, then you're also giving them what they want. And you're becoming a valuable resource. You're becoming seen as an authority in your industry. You're educating, inspiring, entertaining, And your blog post is going to have a call to action on it, or it should, whether you have a free um, resource, a checklist, or a graphic, or something to illustrate what you're saying, or you're inviting them to book a discovery call because you have a certain program that you just know if they're interested in this, the program is going to align with them wholly, then there you go. You've done your job. (laughs) <laughs> yep. And I think that's another really important thing to, to talk about right there is using, you know, I, I've seen this done a lot on YouTube where, you know, there's like a free worksheet, a checklist, a resource, you know, that goes along with the video, but there's no reason why that shouldn't be happening on your blog too. And mm-hmm. those, all three of those things can be interlinked together. If you want to go see this on my blog, go, you know, on video talking about your blog post over on your website, you know, so it's just a great way to, and you're also, I think like I am a big believer in repurposing. Yes, exactly where my mind is going. Let's, 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 let's shout out the, let's <laughs> shout it out to the world about how important this is. Talk to, let's talk about it. Okay. So part of the services we offer are we help with the marketing strategy overall. What are your goals? Where do you want people to go? And we write content for your website, your blog post, social media, and your email newsletters. Let me explain how they work together and how this relates to what we're talking about. So you create one piece of original content, your blog post, and let's say you're doing an intro, three main points and a conclusion with a call to action. Well, that becomes an email or part of your newsletter. Hey, look what we wrote about this week. And you give a little excerpt to tease so people click through. You're now driving traffic to your website. You chop that up three to five different social media posts where you just use the base of your first point, for example, and uh, rewrite it for social media so it can stand alone, but it's not starting from scratch. It's certainly a lot easier when you have a basis. Exactly. So, and then the blog again, lifts up all the hard work that you did on your website because you're keeping new content on there and the spiders are continuously indexing it or crawling it. So Work smart. <laughs> yes. I was just checking to see if there's any um, uh, questions from the group. Guys, if you have any questions, there's some people watching, which is wonderful. You guys, if you have any questions for Elizabeth, please do ask. She helps write content. She helps with marketing strategy. Um, and we specifically here today are talking about writing your blog and repurposing it. I, you know, <laughs> I think repurposing is one of the most important things that we do because we can't assume that we have shared our message with the world when we share it one time in our Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sharing, 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 and sharing some more is part of our job. And so many people create not only content, but amazing webinars, challenges, and then they don't share them enough to actually get them seen in the world. So for me, when you talk about repurposing and sharing and sharing and sharing the same idea again and again and again and again, again, that is something that we underestimate as entrepreneurs, how much we need to share Mm -hmm. because it's way more than even it used to be 10 years ago in social media, by the Mm -hmm. way. Yeah. There's just so much competition for eyeballs and for where to go. And let's use Instagram, for example, because there's the hashtag strategy of how you get found. So you use different combinations of hashtags each time you promote the article, or maybe you're not promoting the article. You're breaking it out, as I said, and you're just sharing those ideas and the ideas can be shared over and over. Um, If you're a little bit more technically advanced or you're comfortable, there are Um, so on WordPress specifically, I can speak to, I don't know about Wix and others, but I'm sure they have some kind of plugin. I use revive old posts. Um, there, there's some other ones. And essentially what I do is I set a schedule and I just say every four days 
any blog post that is older than 30 days blasted out to all my social media and I have it set up. So you, it's a one-time setup and it blasts it out wherever you want it to. And then you just constantly revive that old post. So you don't even have to remember to do it. It'll just push it out. Okay, wait, we have a question in from the group. That's where I want to start is blogging, Tracy says. I get stuck in the how to start and where. Where is a good place? Most most website platforms have a blogging feature, don't they? Nowadays? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So first thing because we were talking about the technical reason we want to bring people to the site because Google likes it do not have an external blog post I mean you could but it's working against you because the whole reason is to drive traffic to your main website yep so once you decide on adding it to your website you find your content inspiration which we talked about where to go as though you're searching or answer the public is amazing you just put in you know answer the public dot um, Reiki com, guys, healer is, yes. a, is the site she's talking about for if, if anyone didn't catch us when we were talking about it before Qora is another one ask yes. anything is another one reddit um, is she a good also source. mentioned youtube um pinterest and google which are the uh, probably the top three search engines in the world at this point i, I think so yeah so um yeah So use these as ways to generate content. I always, you know, if you don't know, also start talking about what you believe about your work, what you do. I mean, and don't make it precious. Mm -hmm. Don't make, it's easy to make the starting of a blog or the starting of a YouTube channel or something like that, like precious. Like it's a special delicate thing that needs to be handled with care, just effing do it. Imperfect action will always get you more than trying to make, I mean, yes, you can do a launch and all that stuff and drum up some noise around it. And that's a great idea, but don't hold it precious. It is just, it's just a goal. It's just another thing to get your message out there. It's just another tool. Okay. So if you're want to get a blog started, pick a date and start preparing content for it. So you're not constantly writing it the day before it's due. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to yourself. It's a terrible idea to do it in any content format. Do not do that. Okay. Yes. And if you want help, yeah. Elizabeth's organization. Yes. Help you get your blog posts written. <laughs> Absolutely. And to answer, I think it was Tracy who had the question. Yep. Um, so we use an interview style approach because again, our clients know what they want. They have their passion, but they just don't know how to tell their story. So our interview style approach, we book a one session. We ask you all the questions we need. You have to think about the topic a little bit beforehand, but we'll help you with the keyword. And then from your questions, there is your blog post. But if you're starting on your own, if you don't know where to start, you have a big blank page. What I recommend you do is think about the five WH who, what, when, where, why, and how. And so you're going to come up with a specific topic. So let's use chakras again, because it's on the top of my mind. So you have chakras. So who has them? Where are they? Why are they relevant to our physical and our spiritual body? How do we access them or tap into them? So you make up questions under each of those. And that can be a little bit of a framework so that it's not a blank page. You have some notes so that you can just start writing and then you let it flow. Maybe if it's, if writing's not your gift and you're not strong in it, let it sit for a day, come back to it and then make it a little bit more sensible. So good, guys. I hope you're taking Chase. Tracy, Tracy said thank you. She has to jump off, but she's going to finish okay. the replay later. Um, that's hugely amazing advice. Who, what, when, where, why, and how, guys? That, that is any like content, any content stuff. that you're doing. Right, exactly. Um, okay. This has been so great. I and guys, up in the description box above our video, which it is up here in Facebook, um, or if you are listening on the podcast or on YouTube later, the description box is down here, <laughs> or <laughs> on the podcast you're listening to, um, the link to Elizabeth's content about how to write a great blog post is included. Um, 
Is there anything you have going on that you want to be inviting people to that's happening in your world? I'm happy to. Uh, in my world, well, I'll just explain. So the the perfect blog post will tell you what to write in the introduction, what to write in the three um, in the three different ideas that you're going to answer and then your conclusion and a call to action. It'll give you inspiration where to find content. So that's how I created that. And if anyone wants to book a consultation, if you're thinking, yes, yes, but I'm not going to do that on my own, I would love to speak with you and see if we're a good fit and I can help you with your blog posts. And you can go to ermarketingservices.com, click the contact page. Once you fill it in, you'll be immediately sent an email, check your junk box <laughs> and it'll have my calendar. <laughs> <this> happens. <laughs> yeah. Book a free call. I'd love to meet with you. That's what I'm here to help. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Any final advice for the gang before about blogs? Um, content before I let you go, you know, more than you think you do. Truth. And you just need to share it with the world. You're being selfish if you don't share what you know with the world. You don't even know. I talked, I literally just talked about this and I was oh, really? being interviewed by somebody else. It's totally, I totally, I'm like, look around right now. This world is in so much need. If you don't pass that message that's trying to come through you into this world, we won't have it. Yeah. Get out there and share your message in whatever way feels in alignment with you. And do not think for a second that blogging is not still where it's at. It totally is. I love a good blog. Sometimes like, I don't want to watch your video with your promo thing and the other stuff and all the things you're going to do the 27 minute video. I just want to know the three steps you have that I need from you, which is the blog post. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and some people are just readers. Yes. Okay. So go check it out. Go check out her work. She is a lovely person. We've had a great conversation. Elizabeth, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thanks, right. Misty. I had a great time. And thanks everyone who's watching. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't think I have anything to add in at this moment. I was going to start talking about some stuff, um, but I don't. So thank you so much for being here today, you guys. I hope you have an amazing one. You take care, be safe, and we will see you on the flip side. Bye. Boom, done. Yay. <laughs> that was so fun. Yeah, that was. I'm glad we had a question because I always, you know, you want to help people who are there. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and I'm glad she like basically had the question of like what we were talking about. Was exactly. So what do we do? Um, <laughs> so when are you thinking this will go live? Because I oh, would yeah. love to promote it everywhere as well. Absolutely. On my um, probably next week sometime, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what though? Out. We're both going to do an exchange on the, the week of the 5th. So maybe oh, I'll put January? it out that week. Yeah, actually, let's do it all together. So it's sure. like cohesive. So January, what day do you usually the do week, it? Um, I'll drop it probably on Tuesday. That's when I... So the 4th? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because I have oh. my my guy, yeah, Lyle, yeah, yeah. who the you've fourth. met yep. with. He'll yep. follow up, make sure yep. that everything... And I have your picture, right? It's in that you put it in. Yes. And, and I will thing. follow up again with the bit.ly link another like a short awesome. bio long bio headshots just so that you have it all in one place again perfect if that's helpful yep it's and still helpful. uh do you order transcriptions for your podcasts or i haven't but i've been thinking about it well because if you're revising your website you I'm revising my your website right now and my right and i do a lot of video that i think could easily be a blog so um, I have a service for that, but I haven't, I've only used it like one time for like something specific. Oh, well, maybe they do podcasts too, if you have a service. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you happen to order a transcript, I'd love it if you could pass it along. And if not, mm -hmm. I'm going to order a transcript and then I can pass that along to you. So then we don't pay for it twice. Yeah. That's awesome. Happy, happy to do so. Happy. To okay. Do so. And I'm looking forward to our collaboration. I drafted yeah. the email and I've scheduled it out yesterday. Nice. <laughs> Yay. That's it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you need anything, let me know.
Okay. Uh, do you do graphics with your Yeah, I'm going to do a graphic. It's going to be your face on the front, the title. Perfect. Yeah. With you or I love it. No, when it'll just be. No? Okay. Yeah. And you'll send me the graphic. Yeah. And the I'll, link. Um, we've been emailing, so I'll email it to you and your are Wonderful. Yeah. I'm just making notes here. All right. I had such a great time. Thanks again, yeah. Misty. Yeah. Thank you so much. You take care. Have you too. Day. Bye. Bye.